Hi, this is Kent Sanders from the Artist Suitcase, and I want to demonstrate how to use the Evernote browser extension called Clearly. So the first thing that you want to do is download the extension. If you haven't already, you can go to evernote.com slash clearly. You can download it there for your browser. Okay, once you've done that, then you'll have this lamp icon in your browser. And um, let me show you what it does, then I'll show you how you can adjust the options for it. So click on the lamp, right click on it. And it's going to bring up the web page in this distraction free reading mode, which is pretty cool. It's going to eliminate all the stuff on the sidebar and headers and all that kind of stuff so that you can read it without being distracted. Now you can clip this whole article to Evernote. And what that does is it will clip it to your default folder if you've set that up and if you've established that in your options, which I'll show you up here now. So right click on the lamp, go to your options. And here you have a whole bunch of options of how to set up clearly. What I've done with the smart filing is I've actually disabled it because when you enable smart filing, that means Evernote decides which notebooks to clip your, to put your web clippings in. Well, I don't want to do that, so I've disabled smart filing so that it automatically puts them in my default folder, and I can go in later and choose where to put those. The reason I do that is because I'd rather Evernote not stick them in somewhere where I can't find them. I want to know that all my clippings are in one folder, and I can go back and arrange those later if I want to. You've got some other options here. Uh, you can actually establish which notebook you want all your clippings to go in if you want to, and I've just set it to use my default notebook. And so there are other options here. You can set up a custom theme if you want to. You can set the text to speech options. And also it gives a list of the clearly features here, which I'll go back to. Okay, so this icon will clip the article for you. This icon, the highlighter, will let you highlight different items. And you'll notice that once you do that, it's updating this. So even if you've clipped this before, every time that you make a change in here with the highlighter, it's going to resave that to Evernote. Here you have different themes that you can choose. This is on the newsprint theme. This is the notable theme and the night owl theme. And then you can set up a custom theme and you can choose the size of the text here. If you bring up this print dialog, you can print it or you can actually save it to PDF or preview it in PDF. And then if you go here, this is the text to speech option. Sometimes it takes a minute to load up. Number here. 021. How to watch a movie with Don Sanders podcast. Leave a comment podcast. Play a new window download in bed. The famed movie critic Roger Ebert once said, it's not what a movie is about. It's how it is about it. So it doesn't sound entirely human, but it's not too bad if you want to use that feature. So again, those are some features of Evernote Clearly. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.